I'm super excited to have all our partners, including Avi and DeepH, to come on stage, have a panel with us later on. And we're super excited to have those potential deployments on Andromeda as soon as possible. Right now, my team is working with Chainlink for their uh, integration with Andromeda. Uh, so once Chainlink is available, I think all those big protocols will come on Andromeda very soon. So I'm super excited about it. Uh, but, but I don't know if everyone is aware, and I mentioned in Chainlink's uh, panel, right now, uh, Metis Andromeda is the cheapest L2 available in the market. Yee! We are the cheapest, yes. It doesn't mean that we are, <laughs> we are cutting corners. We are very, very serious about security. I've written some papers regarding the, uh, the optimistic data availability. Uh, there, there are definitely sacrificing trade-offs that we have to do, but security is still the topmost concern that we have. Uh, given that state that we have a, a, a credit, I would say trusted, secrets are running by METIS, Sure, all assets are super secured, but everyone's going to start enjoying the low, the lowest transaction cost available to any anyone in the Ethereum ecosystem. I don't know if you tried on Andromeda network at all. A Ether transfer or Metis transfer, I think, cost four cents right now. A, a unit swap or swap operation cost fifteen cents. I, I don't think the transaction cost not becomes a barrier for anyone to try uh, applications on Andromeda. And definitely encourage everyone, that you have, if you haven't tried, try a transaction on Andromeda, and you will be blown away by the low cost and lightning speed that you're going to experience on the network. So moving forward, uh, one big vision that Mitis has is this decentralization. Uh, so one thing I do want to stress is Metis is not just about us optimistic rollup. We are not just offering L2 solution. Our vision is to bring Web3 to mainstream, and that's what we're trying to do. While we're trying to realize that vision, we found the existing infrastructure is not going to help us to realize that vision. That's why we focus on the layer two for, for the time being. But however, now we have achieved a low transaction cost, a super high transaction speed, our next focus will be A, the Web 2 to Web 3 transition. We are talking with a lot of partners, a lot of enterprises, a lot of interesting projects. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose any names, but I'm super excited, very, very excited when I hear those names. And next week, I'll have some meetings with some reputable partners and those famous names you may hear of every day, and they're looking to bring their projects or bring their new ideas to Metis Andromeda because our superb infrastructure and superb ecosystem support. That's the first thing. Second thing, I think, I don't know if you catch my, if you caught my uh, speech in L2 Beat, I think I make it very clear Right now, the biggest problem for all L2 solutions is the centralization of sequencers. And because of this particular thing, all L2 right now is just a service provided by investors and funds so that people can have a, a fast transaction speed and somewhat low cost transaction cost. This has to change. This has to change. And this is our mission at Metis to change that. I'm proud to say Metis is one of the leading teams on this mission. And we are very serious about decentralization and decentralized sequences, decentralized the block producers in our layer two infrastructure. And you will hear more about it in coming months when we try to deliver, when we deliver our roadmaps. And throughout this week, I'm also very happy to talk to a lot of uh, smart people in this industry, including folks from Ethereum foundations. And we have exchanged some interesting ideas and actually helped me to add a little bit more spice in the roadmap going forward. One thing I, I, we really want to try is to support the BLS wallets. I am proud to say, immediately will be one of the first chains to have the BLS wallets deployed on testnet. And what it does, it will, it will enable etherless, I would say meterless or gasless transactions. So anyone, any user can jump onto Andromeda without paying any gas and start to use the dApps on Andromeda. And this is huge, it is huge 
for, 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 for the, the mainstream adoptions. Because think about it, you must have some games on your phone, right? And those are free to play games. You don't pay anything when you play them, right? The, that's, the, that's the entry of barrier we're talking about when we bring Web3, uh, Web3 applications to mainstream. So there are a lot more to, to follow, and I do not want to bore everyone to have all the, all the announcements going forward. There'll be a very interesting panel here happening with, uh, um, with experts in different areas. And I hope you have, all have a great evening and have fun. <laughs>